Well, he's a young man, Osman, 19 years old, and we saw in his in his semi-final what this means to him. It was a good win that he got against Rhys Lynch of Scotland by four cards to nil. Emotional scenes when he got that victory. He was flying all over the ring, and he will believe, he will absolutely believe he can do this, and you have to believe you can do it against someone like Cruz, or you may as well not bother. Well, he's already accounted for the 2015 World Championship bronze medalist, the experienced, outstanding Indian boxer, Shiva Tapper. And again, belief isn't something that he lacks. And here comes Cruz, just sauntering through that archway. A kind of regal look to the cube. And there are certain fighters who, when you see them around the hotel, you can see the way that other fighters look at them. Cruz is one of those guys. So is Julio Le Cruz, who we'll see a little bit later on. People point them out in the dining room. It's that kind of dynamic. And it's understandable because he's won absolutely everything that you could win over the last few years. And he just finds a way. He's beaten some very, very good fighters. Osman introduced. Cruz has been over in ring B, wins against Jonathan Miniel. Nicolas de Jesus of Brazil, who boxed really well against him. For Sean Lee of the United States, again, who gave it his absolute best. Mijabilo Tursunov of Uzbekistan, and then Hovhannis Bachkov of Armenia. Now, if anyone was going to be able to bring the kind of educated pressure to bear on Cruz that people seem to have decided is the way to beat him, it would be Bachkov. But he just couldn't get it done. Cruz decided that he was going to stand there, fight what was supposed to be Bachkov's fight, and he beat him. So into the opening stages of round one. Cruz in the blue. Osman of Turkey in the red. Just caught his chin a little bit high there, Osman, by a, a lead left hand from Cruz. Nice right hand there from Osman. And another right hand. The first one was taken on the gloves. The second one landed clean. And I think that's very important for him that he lands something early, gets that confidence up. If you find yourself missing in the early stages, hitting fresh air against an elusive target like this, then things can get a little bit dispiriting. But he's made a nice start here, the Turkish fighter. Looking to try and keep that upper body on the move. Right hand into the pit of the stomach there of Cruz. A minute into round one and encouraging stuff from the red corner. So far. Looking for the big overhand right there, Osman. I don't think it really got through clean and getting his feet close and letting his hands go. Looking for the jab, flicking it up from the waist. Cruz with the layback, finds the right hand to the chest there of Osman. Almost midway through this opening stanza. Jab from Cruz right to the body. Turns southpaw very briefly. Looks for the jab upstairs. He's just beginning to get those hands working, Cruz. He can land a high number of scoring blows in a very short period of time. Once he begins to get that range locked on. Right hand there from Osman. I don't think got through. A couple to the body from Cruz. I think did, just catches Osman backing up, then Osman steps in with that right hand and he lands it again. Hands down there from Cruz. A minute to go. He's landed some good sleek, clean shots here, Osman. Nice stiff jab there from Cruz. First half of the round, I would say, belonged to the Turkish fighter. The second half, more even. Good right hand there off the ropes from Osman. A right hand had come through from Cruz, who looks for the jab again here. 30 seconds. A good finish from either one of these two could be enough. The 19-year-old in red has 
risen to the occasion here early on. A jab to the head, though, there just snaps his head back there, Osman. Keeping that upper body moving always on the retreat there, Osman. The left hand might just about have got there from Cruz. This has been an absolutely tremendous opening round. The work rate from both of them, the lateral movement, the reflexes. Top draw, great stuff. What an opening round, my goodness. Kerem Osman showing no fear of the talent, reputation or accomplishments of the man in red excuse me, of the man in blue, came out looking for that backhand right from the opening belt. Cruz having to make adjustments, but he did begin to find a range with his jab. He's taken it on all five scorecards. And again, his movement, just as he looked as though he began to time the attacks of us men, the deeper we got into the round, because the shots that were landing in the early part of the round for us men weren't landing towards the end. Just being made to miss, but he's certainly acquitted himself very well indeed. But now this is going to be a real test for those men because Cruz is so experienced and at just 19 years of age. Remember, we were in Kielce in Poland where Osman was competing earlier this year. This is probably going to be beyond what he's experienced before. How will he deal with the test that lies ahead against the man from Cuba? So into the second round, Cruz quickly onto the jab, and he did lock on towards the end of that round in the second half and began to find that beat, that rhythm, hear that music in his ears. But I think he's a bit unlucky myself there, to be honest with you. The fighter from the red corner to get nothing in that round. I thought he landed some good, some good solid shots. Early stages of the second, Osman Turkey in the red. The all-conquering Andy Cruz of Cuba in the blue and there's that right hand that landed a couple of times in the first round didn't land on that occasion Cruz with the pullback right hand came back jab from Cruz he's trying to keep that head on the move Osman and he's well advised to do so fighting Cruz is one of the more difficult tasks that has presented itself to any Aiba boxer in in recent years Oh, he's been looking for the right. Cruz had that left glove up. His movement, Cruz, obviously is terrific, but it's also economical. He moves fractions. He makes you miss by fractions. Good example there, just takes the feet out. The jab is just millimetres short of the chest. So he doesn't waste anything, whether it's in a defensive sense or in an offensive sense. Again, just pulls back. That jab falls fractionally short. He comes back with a right hand to the body. So fighting him is a draining experience. Your concentration has to be absolutely on point all the way through physically. He makes you work relentlessly hard. Right hand to the body there from Cruz. Osman It's going with him here. He's going with him as best he possibly can but he's just coming off second best in these exchanges, heading into the final minutes of round two. Cruz is turning around his man, and I think the battery is running down here a little bit for Osman. He's going to dig in and keep going, but for all the reasons that I just mentioned, for the 19-year-old, this is, this is a step up in, in level, the kind of step up in level which not many people quite honestly get to experience heading into the final 30 seconds of round two just short with that right hand that landed a couple of times and it's exactly what ron was talking about between rounds that landed a couple of times in the first half of the round he got caught a little bit with it cruz and it made us raise our eyebrows because you don't see that very often but in the second round or since the midway point of the first he hasn't got hit with that again head down just Burrowing away to the body there, Cruz. And he's been in some real good contests in this, in this tournament. He's been pushed hard, Cruz. He's been pushed hard here. He's just too good for him. That's how it appears after two rounds. And I think, uh, to say, a, a clear round for Andy Cruz. But this is going to be a really interesting period now for Kerry Mosman, because I think he's given absolutely everything physically in terms of his repertoire and what he possesses within him and there was a point when he tripped to the canvas with about 40 45 seconds to go in that second round where he breathed and his lips flapped together like that of a whoopee cushion you see a 10-8 score 
returned. I don't think he's got much left energy-wise. This minute intermission going to be crucial. But now this is going to be a test of what lies beyond his skill, beyond his conditioning. Because I think it's those qualities that are going to be tested here. And his corner will no doubt be keeping a close eye on him because they may be called upon to show some compassion if Cruz decides to go through the gears. So three more minutes to go. And he's going to have to dig in here, Osman, no doubt about that. But I equally have no doubt that he will because he's that kind of campaigner. It's been a magnificent effort from him to get through to the final. And this has been a good effort from him too. That opening round, I thought he gave a very good account of himself. Could maybe have got something from the judges in that, in that three minutes. But that second round, Cruz just turned the heat up. And this is what he does. He just raises the temperature bit by bit by bit. You'll be working harder at the end of the fight against him than you will at the start. It's, as I said, an utterly draining experience. In every conceivable way, Osman was slightly off balance there as he was trying to throw a couple of punches in from an odd angle out of a almost southpaw stance. Gets on the inside, has a little wrestle, then drops to his knees. And that's just an indication, I think, really, that there's not much left in the tank. He's got two more minutes here. Cruz with a dig to the body. Again, just slips underneath the left hook and then goes to the body. Combination on the inside and a right hand just drops Osman there. He just taps the corner of his right eye, looks over towards his corner, shrugs his shoulders. They're just telling him to get the gloves up, basically, as we head towards the midway point of round three. And I think there's a chance that, as Ron said, they might need to start thinking about this. To be honest, I don't think they will. I think they'll leave that man in there until the end because I want him to see the final bell. But the, the tank has emptied quite quickly since about the midway point of round two. And that's not a criticism. It's just an observation. Cruz here has got just over a minute as he comes forward. He's on the prowl again. Osman gets right up tight and grabs hold, pins the arm of Cruz on the blind side of the referee. For a 19-year-old, that's a nice veteran's trick. Then looks for a big uppercut, walked him back towards the ropes. That killed the clock. That took out a few seconds. So he's got under a minute here, Osman, just backs up to the ropes, throws that right hand, looked to move onto the shoulder. Couldn't quite do it because Cruz had, had got wise to what he was up to there. And now Osman grabs hold again, ends up on the canvas, but... Again, this is just seeing the, the seconds tick by. And he's going to make it through to the end here, Osman, I think. And I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad to see him do it and see him do it without taking too much stick in this, in this final round because this will be an almighty learning curve for him. It's been a wonderful two weeks for him. And Cruz, once again, is going to reign supreme here and pick up his third Aiba world title in a row. He's back at six, uh, back at his preferred weight. And there goes the bell at the end of the three minutes of that final round. And halfway through it, I thought you might be right there. I thought the corner might have to have a little bit of a think about this because when he dropped to his knees from that right hand, he looked absolutely done, didn't he? But I'm pleased to see him get through there, Roseman. Great couple of weeks for him. But this man, he's as near unbeatable as you can be at the moment, I think. In his peak, at his peak, physically, mentally, everything working for him, so confident. But that confidence comes from the hours spent drilling and drilling and drilling, practicing his skills. Once he steps into the squared circle, while his movement, his confidence, his ring craft, all those things combine to make him near unbeatable. Always has an answer, whatever the man from the other corner brings. And Osman being applauded by his corner team. More on that in a moment as we get the verdict. Well, all the way back when I first saw him in 2015, he was at uh, bantamweight. He was behind Rabesi Ramirez at that point, so didn't make it to the Rio 2016 Olympics. But since then, he moved all the way up 
to like Welter, which has been 64, 63, 63 and a half in this tournament. And he's just, he's reigned supreme as he just shows us a few moves in the middle of the, in the middle of the boxing ring. He's very well practiced at that, isn't he? Because he wins so many fights. It's, it's no wonder he's good at it. And he's not bad at boxing either. A sensational series of performances from Andy Cruz. Three world championship gold medals in a row. Practically unbeatable on the international circuit. What a year it has been. Tokyo Olympic gold, best in Kashawn Davis, who returned to the three-round code from the professional ranks, just as he did in Yekaterinburg two years ago. And here in Belgrade, well, Kerem Osman deserves immense credit because that clipping right hand, he got back to his feet and showed a veteran's instincts along with superb competitiveness to get through the round. And I thought that was a very good survival job by Kerem Osman. That's not what he came in the ring to do, but he saw it out, he toughed it out. Andy Cruz, again, that signal saying it all, a hat-trick of world championship gold medals. Knows far too much for Kerem Osman, but it, let's have it right. I think in Kerem Osman, we've discovered a bit of a start, a hard-hitting, freewheeling, swaggering, effusive 19-year-old who is only going to get better if he follows the program laid out for him. That's what this man has done, and it served him tremendously well. Two global titles in a year. Finished off by a bit of a moonwalk.